Whether we're going for a ride or driving a vehicle, we're all sharing the road. It's very easy to forget about the journey and just focus on where we're heading to. Many incidents occur because we aren't aware of who is around us. The way we ride can help us be seen by other road users and helps us to avoid dangerous situations. By keeping around a metre from the kerb when riding and with motorists leaving at least one metre distance when passing by, everyone has enough space on the road to safely enjoy their journey. If we're alert to other road users and pedestrians, we can spot hazards. Hazards like cars reversing out of driveways, someone stepping out across the road, or even potholes that can cause us heaps of damage. And we'll spot the helpful clues too, like vehicle indicators or brake lights that show what motorists are planning to do next. By using clear hand signals and obeying traffic signals, it makes it easy for motorists to understand our intentions when we're riding. This kind of predictable behaviour is great for all road users. Of course, none of this matters if we can't be seen in the first place. Ride in a visible manner, avoiding motorists' blind spots, and position yourself clearly at intersections. Make it easy to be seen in advance. When we're in the driver's seat, it's vital to check our mirrors for riders who could be riding alongside our vehicle, and scan for riders at intersections or when turning. My final be seen tip is, be prepared. By planning your journey, you can avoid potential hazards by using a safer route. You may even find that the weather or time of day isn't going to be ideal for your ride. Just before I head out on my ride, let's consider the three things we've talked about. The gear we wear, the equipment on our bikes, and the way we ride and share our roads all make a big difference when we're riding. So be safe and be seen.